You know, yesterday it was a sad one when um, the Jai district of the FCT housing one of the uh, biggest departmental stores. I'm talking about the Kashankari uh, departmental store uh, where everything is sold. Gutted by fire at the early hours of, uh, of Sunday and well, it took time for that fire to be put out. And we also saw other sister agencies on the ground to prevent hoodlums from taking advantage of the situation. Yeah, so we'll be looking at that. It is one too many in the FCT where we have uh, FCT fire service. We also have the federal fire service. Why do we have these issues on and on? And uh, most time it is a bit difficult for the fire fighters to respond immediately. Why? All right, we have town planner Ibrahim Muhammad. He's the PRO FCT fire service. Very good morning to you and welcome. Good morning, sir. Mm. Thank you for having me. Good morning, Nigerians. Yeah, so why is the FCT experiencing uh, fire outbreaks here and there? Yeah, thank you. This uh, amateur season, the atmosphere is charged. Mm. And this is expected because everything that is burnable increases the tempo of being burnt. Mm. And uh, as a result of that, we have always been warning people to be conversant with the season and take precautionary measures. Uh, however, we are still doing that because most people don't heed to most of the safety tips we've been giving them. Mm. What actually play out, I don't know whether I should go to that, mm. what actually played out yesterday wasn't about responding on time. Mm. It is about putting the call on time when the fire was still small. Mm. Fire starts small. From zero seconds to 120 seconds, which is two minutes, fire is assumed to be small. Anything after that 120 seconds, the fire is assumed to be big. And a big fire, you can't use first aid firefighting equipment like fire extinguisher to extinguish it. It has gone beyond that. And if fire, like, like that of yesterday, of Nest Cash and Carry supermarket, we don't even know. Nobody among the staff can ascertain when the fire started. And when fire starts, it expands easily because of heat transfer. Fire can be transferred from one position to the other in three ways. Through conduction, through radiation, and through convection. So as a result of that, the fire started early. And no staff has resumed duty. They are yet to resume. The security men on ground even if they saw anything early, they did not have access to the main mall. You know, that is expected because they won't be having the keys. They won't be having the access to the place because they might want to help themselves with one or two things. So the management will not allow such to happen. Why they are there to protect? Yeah, but they can call the management immediately. Yes, it was their own call because look at it, the transition is that they made the call to the management when they saw smoke. Mm. The management had to call the fire service. Mm. The fire service, because of this festive period, mm. the road is free. So whoever that said we came late, mm. that person is not being just to us. Mm. Because the road is free, and the moment uh, the call is put uh, to our offices, mm. the Asokoro fire station turned out first. Then Guaripa fire station now came. The other agencies, like Federal Fire Service, FEMA, all of them came around to salvage the situation. But before these people uh, put up the call, the, the available staff on ground were also trying to open the mall and remove some things from the mall. They sell, that means to save their goods. Unfortunately, the smoke was too much. Until when the fire service came, that was when we had to, you know, because when we came around, the fire has expanded from one edge to the other. So, meaning 
that the fire is no longer a small fire. The smoke has filled the entire place. So that is why we had to pave way for them to enter mm -hmm. and then try to salvage some of the things that you saw them mm -hmm. Like we can out. see now? Yes, as mm -hmm. we can see now. Mm -hmm. And the news has also been making around that looters took advantage of the situation. Not really. Not really. Because the police uh, boss, that the CP, made provision so swiftly that the police came and condoned off that place. And we need to commend their efforts. Together with FEMA, they came and started controlling the crowd so that nobody had access to the place. So in that case, there was nothing like looting. It was people, the staff, that came around. When the fire service has actually uh, extinguished some parts for them to have access to their goods and salvage the situation. They were removing their goods and assembling them at the, the uh, backside of that is behind the mall where their warehouses were. And it is from there they sorted out who was who, who or what, and they started taking inventories. Okay, what. but you know, in a climb like Nigeria, uh, well, it's advancing, yeah. uh, there are some technology that other you know, countries are using which gives them sign that there's fire, you know, outbreak somewhere. They don't even have to wait for call from um, residents. Why is it difficult for the FCT to have that kind of gadget? Thank you. We are moving gradually towards that because recently we tested a technology mm. and uh, a particular installation is being made into premises where once there is a fire, it will alert our control room. Now, the gadget, like I say, is still ongoing, and we are trying to see how we can improve it to be more efficient, more effective than as it is working now. So it is not all the organizations that have installed this, but we are, like, like I said before, when you talk to them, they are lackadaisical in trying to embrace the new technology in town that can really save some of their, their lives, the lives and the property of uh, their business premises. But like I said, we are gradually telling them, the FCT minister has really tried by giving us most of this, in fact, sensitization is one of the things is so back in that, that we should go, let us prevent this thing from happening. Take it to them, meet them in their organization, Tell them that these are the things they should do. Some are complying, and we are. But, but do you do that? We do that. We hardly see you do that. Yes, we do that. Mm -hmm. One of the sensitization is coming to the studio here to tell people. Mm -hmm. not every, will you say not everybody watches ITV? Not everybody watches other uh, media houses? Fine. If nobody watches these stations. Mm. No, we, no, a lot of people watch. A lot, a lot of people. Mm. Now, if you agree that a lot of people watch the station, then you should also agree that we are reaching out to them, but we cannot be in all places at the same time. No, but before now, uh, you discover that the fire service in the FCT embark on sensitization, especially during uh, Hamatan season, uh, like, just like uh, where we, we, we are now. Uh, telling people this is how to put out fire. Uh, there is a fire blanket. You know, you put it and you close it. You know, you know different, different. You know, um, awareness on how to put out when it when uh, it starts, yes. on how to prevent it so that it doesn't even come mm. because prevent is better, better than, 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 than cure. Yes. Uh, that, than cure. But we don't see that anymore. Ah, thank you. We are doing it. Where? Yes. When you, say, when you say we, yes. it's we are, we, our territory mm. is FCT. Mm. Our jurisdiction is FCT. Mm. Going to Abaji, mm. going to Gwagwalada, mm. going to Kuali and other areas is part of our work to do. Mm. We have stations in those places. Mm. And whenever the dry season campaign comes, we go there, we do that. So this year, we have started that of the FCC, that is the Federal Capital City. But getting into the other areas is what we are actually planning because the 
the process started late this time because of this effect of COVID-19. We are told um, the stations they are to do their own local sensitization, which they are doing. But from the headquarters, we do go to their chief palaces so that they will reach more of their farmers, their wards, so that they will sensitize them better. But that particular one is ongoing now. I mean, it's what we are actually planning to do now because, like I said, the effect of COVID-19 is affecting everything. We don't want much gathering. We have been warned that whatever thing we are doing, we should always observe the COVID-19 protocol. We cannot sensitize people. We cannot reach them without gathering them in one place and then telling them that this is it through their chiefs in the palaces. So we are finding it. We are trying to find change the way of how to bring them maybe in batches and then doing this, considering the COVID-19 protocol, mm. observing the COVID-19 protocol. So that is one of the things we are doing right now. But that one too will start in earnest. And, um, but if you look at the FCT, you also discover that the fire service stations are so, so limited. One in uh, Area 10, another in Asokoro, uh, Guarimpa. The whole of Jahi district with high rising, you know, and many uh, filling stations. We do not have the fire service station. Why? Thank you. Uh, according to the plan of uh, the master plan of Abuja, mm. every district mm. is supposed to have a fire station. Mm -hmm. If you check Jai, mm -hmm. there must be a fire station stationed. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. plots in a particular place. Yeah, but we don't have But them. the thing is this: development mm -hmm. tends to, you know, expand. There are places that are vacant now. There are places that are so isolated now, as we speak, in Jai district. Yes, where there are no buildings around, but there are plots being allocated to people and to organizations. If fire station goes there, that means you need to also consider the security of such fire station. Mm -hmm. So that also is determinant with the development of that area. Now, Utaku, will, Utaku district is trying to cover that of Jai, but Otaku Un is almost, when I mean almost, let me put it at 92% completion. Mm -hmm. It has been there for some time, but it, the work stopped. Then now, the Honorable Minister has given the go ahead for the work to be completed so as to cover Jai as well as Otaku district. While Guarimpa is also covering here, Asokoro is overlapping to this place. Pape is mm -hmm. another place without, fire, without station. fire station, which we are now. But there's a fire, uh, a, a, a plot that has been allocated recently just because we are making moves. That's why I said the Honorable Minister, with the uh, kind of uh, zeal that the, the, uh, the our acting director, Indina Sani Seidu, has, that we must cover this district very, very soon. And that is what we're doing right now. So, in that, in that case, when the fire uh, station is being alerted on time there's no time we have five minutes grace except from other things that hinders our flow movement we have right of way we can follow one way to the fire scene but the fact the fact the fact remains that we still don't have to cause more problem on the way before we get there mm -hmm. and that also boils down to the wayfarers the people that ply the road when you see emergency vehicle, mm -hmm. please give them way. Yeah, but what so is that most time when you are called, the first thing is um, uh, you need to you need to get water, you need to fill the tank, you need to, um, you know you call on the, the, the driver is not on duty, so many flimsy excuses before you respond. That is not. Uh, feasible. That is not something that fire service does because mm. I think we've had these stories in the past that mm. uh, when they were being called fire brigade mm. and that was around the uh, 19th century, well, the 21st mm. century for God's sake. Mm. And I want to believe that um, uh, no fire station mm. is expecting a call from outside mm. and its fire truck is not filled with water. When we move out with fire truck, mm. we have a backup water tanker that follow immediately. Mm. At times when they do not follow, the one filled when, filled you, with, when you get the call, 
the one already filled before the call. Okay. When fire truck moves out, mm. that is the fire engine, mm. the water tanker is filled with water mm. and it moves, uh, it follows the fire truck. Mm. Except if there's a fire, let's say they say, no, it's a car fire, that fire truck is enough to knock it off. So in order to knock it out, we do follow with water tanker. A water tanker, when it gets there, mm. do feed the fire truck mm -hmm. as the fire truck is feeding, mm -hmm. I mean, extinguishing the fire mm -hmm. in the building. So it is a systematic thing that we have done. At times, at times too, the water is not enough. You have to wait and go and get, uh, move the, your vehicle to go and get water again. Okay. See, the public will help us in doing one thing. Mm. Where we do get water, we call that place fire hydrants. It's a fixed installation where that pro government has provided in different places. Mm. So, as a result of that, these fire hydrants are well charged with water. You cannot get the kind of pressure that comes out from the water, I mean, fire hydrants in other places like ordinary running tap. No, they are not the same. Mm. These fire hydrants are supposed to be in premises like we have in next cash and carry there are fire hydrants we need not to go back to station to mm -hmm. prime the distance between water and next cash and carry and the nearest fire station will also count on the you know the devastation fire will do in mm -hmm. that particular premises so what we do is fire hydrant must be installed in your premises the rate at which fire comes out of our hose in just a few seconds, a drum of water is gone because of the pressure. It is the pressure that knocks out the fire before even the water. But you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Simultaneously. So in that case, there is no how a 5,000 liter, liter of uh, fire truck will not get finished in the just few minutes. So if it is so, Another water tank, tank, tank that, like the tanker, mm. will have to feed it for it to continue fighting fire. Mm. And the rate at which it's feeding it... The feeding, is it, is it automatic? It's by passing hose. Okay. You now have to pass hose because this one is a different car, it's a different truck. This one is another different truck. You just connect them mm. and this one continue fighting the fire. So if that uh, is happening, they will now, if the fire situation is getting worse and the incident commander is there, he will now say we need more backup. We need other fire stations to turn out. Come and, and, support. and support. And that is why you saw so many fire trucks there yesterday. And then people will ask, why are there so many fire trucks from different sister agencies and other, and yet they are, they, we couldn't put out the fire mm -hmm. on time? That is why I would attribute this to the first point I made. Mm -hmm. You don't expect to extinguish a fire that has been there for long. Mm, that it has, has been there for more than, for more than 120 than seconds. One, yes. Mm. So if that fire has extended from one edge of that building, as big, as wide as it is, to the other end, then that means it is a situation which other fire uh, trucks, I mean, you have to, you have agencies to, have to agencies come. have to come and support us. And that's what really happened yesterday. We want to seize this opportunity to commend every agency, including Nigeria Army, Navy, uh, Federal Fire Service, um, National Assembly Federal Fire Service, as well as FEMA, they came, they assisted, including Red Cross. Red Cross came there to see whether there are people that will be- Casualties. Ca yes, casualties, that will, that they will quickly help mm -hmm. as uh, first aiders. So we really tried our best as of yesterday. So mm. the insinuation that they called us, we did not turn out on time. That can never happen, especially. No, but it has been happening. I remember last year when our sister station here, Lob FM, yes. you know, was gutted by fire. It was a bit difficult, very, very difficult for the people to get, get, to, to, get to, the, to, the, to the building. Now, and it burned down. Then, and there are others too. You, you know, you, also remember sometime the treasure house also was gutted by fire. Yes. Here, Swift the, 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 the FCT High Court also, the section 
uh, was gotten by far here in, 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 in Metama, despite the closeness mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, water station, mm -hmm. Asukuru Metama, it's, 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 well, it's, it's, it's still were diffi were, was, was yeah. difficult. It was uh, because, like I said before, mm -hmm. the fire started and it has become a bigger fire before we were called. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the time of arrival, the time of response mm -hmm. that actually caused the the the, the you know, mm -hmm. city of the town the fire. It was because the fire started early TPL and it was not discovered. Ibrahim Muhammad, you are you are you are hiding under some technicalities. No, the <laughs> fact is the fire has gone big. No, let me let me tell you something. What Nigerians three, three want aspects. to see, irrespective Response. of the size of the fire, so put it out. The swift. Yes, of course. Put and it that is out. What we do. Let me also tell you something. There are three factors that can mitigate against fire. I mean, a quick response, rather. Mm. One is putting the call on time. If the call did not come... And then responding to the call. You are trying putting to put, the you call, put this call and nobody is there to pick it. No. A station, it will call a place control room. Mm. Nobody leave our emergency number behind. In fact, if you are going to the restroom, go with it. If you are going to anywhere, go with it. And there is no time that you even have cause to go out with it mm. because your partners are there mm. to respond to it when you are not there. Mm. So we don't have one person, one single person uh, on duty at a time. So what we are saying is this. I said, I made mention of mitigating factors. That's, that's one. The second thing is the road, the traffic. There's no how. We will be honking our sarin, horn, and other things most wayfarers don't give us the way to go there. Even if it is 20 seconds that's been spent on the road, it is affecting the time of uh, response. Mm. So our time of response is tied to that as well. Then the third one is this. Can you believe this? Somebody will leave his own place that is on fire and come, he doesn't have our number. He will not come to our station. We call it running call. You will not come to our station to inform us. There's a fire at Metama. There's a fire in our premises at so, so place. Please, the time being spent to come to our station. Can't you use that time to make call? So, that is it. So, we have these reasons that do hinder the quicker response mm -hmm. to the fire. The size does not matter, really. But the size affects the time of totally putting out the, the fire. fire. All right, uh, TPL Ibrahim Muhammad, uh, the PRO FCT Fire Service. In case you are joining us, we are looking at the in increase in fire outbreak here in the FCT and response to, to put that out. So as we uh, attempt to end this discussion, uh, give us some safety tips. Yes, the safety tip I want to give uh, before that is that Whenever you experience a fire outbreak in your premises, do not wait to say you are going to salvage the situation first on your own. We do have that issue. And if you are trying to do that, when the fire now gets out of hand, you start calling us. You will see that there will be little thing you will salvage from that uh, premises. So in the course of doing that yesterday, our acting director, Engineer Sani Saidu, was there in person from morning when this thing happened till late in the night. We left there to 11 in the night. And up to this moment that I'm talking to you, our firemen are still there because the fire has not been totally put up because there's what we call damping. Damping, we are still doing damping till now. So in that case, he was even embarrassed yesterday. He was so embarrassed because while trying to pave way, okay, now, we have every right to break a wall and penetrate through sure, that wall. To sure. ease the way of the, of our operation. Mm. We are trying and to do And you have that. the gadget to do so? Yes, we have the gadget to do so. A payloader was ready to pull out one of the parts of the wall. Somebody stood in the front of the payloader that it should be bulldozed first before the building. Why? He said, no, they don't want to put that place, they don't want to naked the place to the public. Has fire not done enough more damage to the place? What of if the intensity of the damage bring, out, bring down the wall by itself? What will you do? Will you prevent it from falling? But we want to actually, until we did that yesterday, before we could get that fire, 
uh, uh, and the cause of doing that, our acting director, who was putting all this effort, directing all the boys, that these are the things you are going to do, these are the things you are going to do, he was nearly lynched by the so-called the staff of the place. Although they later denied. Yeah, but what, what is the extent of, 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 of the damage? The extent of the damage, if you can see it even in your news. No, no, you know, uh, we, what we have is, um, of course, uh, the, the smoke coming out. Mm. We have that clip. We also have the storehouse. But, you know, press, we are prevented uh, from gaining access into the the, the, the pre premises so you were there you entered uh the, 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 the uh, what do you call it now the the building itself so what is the extent of the damage honestly enormous i would say it's a colossal loss mm. and uh, billions of naira have gone down the drain there mm. and uh, for them to recover it have to take a little time what we are feeling so so much i want to tell the public is this some staff, except some management staff, maybe, it depends on the consideration of the owners of the business, must have lost their job yesterday. Mm -hmm. So about 1,500 staff. If they lost their job, then what are we saying? It will also, the impact will be in the society, because it to the society because now they are jobless. What if some of them embrace crime? So those are the things we are looking at, so that we want to prevent them from happening. That's why we give safety tips. We said, do not do this. Like yesterday, we also discovered accessibility to the building. In order to, you want to secure your building from external aggression, external uh, interest, influence by thieves, burglars, but you have not thought of the safety of the uh, staff. Whenever there's a problem, suppose there's a spark, and then everyone wants to get around for safety. You only have one entrance, one outlet in the front. There is a particular place at the back that's behind where they move in their goods. That one too is there. Then there's another one. But I'm telling you, in times of this situation, it's not even enough. Then there should be a way. I think it should be put into consideration. We are a, a size of uh, the size of a fire truck will be able to enter the building. Hmm. Yes. Very important. Very important. It's because if we had entered the building earlier, after we extinguished the step, that is the first uh, fire you will meet at the entrance, if we have extinguished that one, for them to be able to move some things out, then we should be able to penetrate inside. So the fact remains that we need to put this plan before the development control when you are doing we have a desk mm -hmm. officer in the development control that vet fire safety aspect of your building mm -hmm. but we need to improve on that more so that most of these buildings we will give them or the, they will start observing the, uh, the, the the fire safety uh, mm -hmm. uh, considerations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from then till when the building is being structured mm -hmm. I want to believe that's that so all right thank you so much for your time with us on the program the number yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's also have the, the number just in case. Okay. Actually, mm. to reach us, mm. you will, our hotline is 09-290-6118. I repeat, 09-290-6118. 09-290-6118. And the right. emergency, national emergency number remains 112. That is a toll-free number, 112. All right. Thank you once again for your time with us on the, the program. And that's what we have on this discussion segment with uh, Town Planner Ibrahim Muhammad is the PRO FCT Fire Service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.